Yo, what's good, everybody? Episode 65 of the Streamers Paradise podcast. We got Clutch and Blow. I'm Hazy. Happy Friday, peeps. Yo, 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 what up, everybody? What's good? What's good? What's good? Yo, Cod Lady and Carnage, thank you guys so much. 15 months and nine months. I fucking love you guys. Let's go, Let's fucking go. I'm so hot. Let's go, Yo, it's, um, hopefully we have no crash today, right? Hopefully there's no fucking problem, Streamlabs, please, God, don't do this. You have done this to me the last, like, three or four, I think, podcasts now. So I'm begging you, I'm begging you, please, don't. What's crazy, too? I see you game all the time. You're good for VIP. Only podcast. <laughs> like, what the heck? Yo, Bo, 30 months? For real? <laughs> Munchie with 27, though? Holy shit. It's kind of crazy how long we've been doing this, man. We've been doing this a long fucking time. Thank you guys for all the new follows. Uh, I appreciate you. OME, Flock Nation, Deacon. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much, honestly. How has everybody been doing? There's a lot of new people. I've seen a lot of new people, so I'd like to talk to some new peeps, man. I really would. I'd love to see what's going on with everybody. How are you guys enjoying the community? Any questions that you have? And uh, while you guys muster up the questions, how are you guys doing? How's your week been? Uh, I was going to ask if I count as a, as a newbie. You do count as a fucking newbie. I'm tired of your shit. I'm tired of your shit, bro. Yeah, you know, I'm tired of. Deacon, absolutely <laughs> love SP. Movie things. Oh, you're tired of the movie. Get out of the movie then, bro. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the it's not fun. I'll be back in it three days. A little late. Let's try again next month. Listen, there's no excuse, bro. <laughs> you're on the podcast. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Come on, you gotta represent, bro. But here's the thing, here's the thing. If I if I if I start showing up all the time, I wouldn't be as rare as I am. Right. You wouldn't be the unicorn right. that, we, that we consider we <laughs> consider you to be. Deacon, that's what it's always been about though, man. It's always supposed to have been about um having people having people come in no matter what size streamer they are and no matter where they're from, what they do, and just be able to make a friend. Honestly. Mm. How did you find SP? Well, uh Oh, <laughs> he love. He wants to do that so bad. I made it. I made it. <laughs> I didn't say it. I was because just... I see all of them, and I'm like, it's like, oh, what's your favorite movie? And I'm like, uh, I'm gonna come to the podcast for that. Well, and I see the. How did you find SP? I get a good chuckle. So, out for of those of you that don't know, I when I first decided to create SP, I did two things, right? I did two things. One of those things was talk to my wife, Chi. That was the first thing I did, right? Because I knew that it was going to be an insane amount of work, but I had no idea how much it was actually going to be. So I remember talking to her saying, hey, like, I want to start a Discord, and I really want to, you know, take it seriously. I want to do this. And she was like, all right, let's do it. And uh, then the next call was to a buddy of mine who tried to talk me out of it, essentially. And then I talked to Bo. That was my third call. So my third call was Bo. Hey, Bo, I need you to make me a Discord. <laughs> Who also tried to talk you out of it. Yeah, you did. Everybody tried to talk <laughs> me out of it. Every single person that I tried to go to for help tried to talk me out of it. And that's not, a, that's not an exaggeration. <laughs> and then once, then once I started it, there was a constant, you can't do that. No, we can't do that. No, we can't do that. No, we can't do that. We push through a lot of barriers, man. We push through a lot of fucking barriers. This piece is like a great pot of stew. It has all types of shapes and flavors and ingredients in it. And it all works together perfectly. Yeah, dude. That's a pretty good, cool way to say it. That's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> um, a lot of appreciate you, Zimby. Even me, even she. <laughs> even she's like, nah, we can't do that. Do Shut up. <laughs> We're doing it. So here we are. Well, here we are two and <laughs> a half, two years and seven months later. Two years that and eight months later. Choppy. 
<laughs> Watch your connection. What couldn't you do exact? I did not get choppy. Did I really? Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I saw it real quick. I oh, swear to God, quick. I'll cry. <laughs> I will cry. <laughs> oh. I was gonna say he's, he's not related to the, the podcast. That's what he's not like. <laughs> Bro, I it's every, I mean everything that that we do is essentially like it starts with me saying something to Chief. That's how it all starts. <laughs> I like I sit there. I, I that's how it it's all okay, starts. Hey. I'll just be sitting well, there and I'm like, this. hey, yeah, exactly. Hey, I got this. I got this clue. I I think I. I think I have a portion of like what I want to do. Yo, city's trying to crash me. City's trying to crash. City! City, thank you, City. You're legendary. Oh. No legendary. In fact, we might be in Clutch's channel. <laughs> so, 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 so the other day, right? I'm in Walmart. And I come across this fucking giant nerds display of my legal crack cocaine, right? The nerds clusters, these gummies. So I immediately think, all right, she, two bags for her, two bags for me, right? They're like as cheap as you can get them there, too. They're like 350 or something, four bucks. Everywhere else, they're like five, six dollars for one of these bags. So Walmart's the cheapest place. She doesn't eat hers that much. That's true. I, I, <laughs> that's true. So I immediately, I take a picture, I send it to City. And then City responds with, you're in fucking Walmart. And I was going to take this exact picture when I opened up your DM and saw that the picture was of the same shit that I was going to. So these things are crack. And, and, and this is, I believe we've bonded over nerds clusters. <laughs> Nerds clusters. I want to try that. Now. Yo, there. Don't do it. They're pretty good. It's like, it's like the nerds on a rope, pretty much, right? No, it's better. Ah, okay. Way better. Oh, better than that. Oh god, yeah. But it's different. Is it? Is not the same thing? Just clusters no, uh, instead of these a whole things. rope. <clears throat> no. <laughs> Can't be doing this. No. Pathetic, bro. Fucking different. <laughs> it is different. Anyway. Oh, thank you so Speaking much, City, for the five gifted. Gummies. I appreciate you. Pass, I'll stick to beer. <laughs> Not wasting calories. <laughs> no wasted calories with these fucking... These things are a waste of calories. They're not really a waste, though, because they taste so good. And 16 of them is 100 calories. That's not that bad. 16 is a lot. 16, 16 clusters or 16 nerds? No, 16 <laughs> clusters. So 16 of these. I'll take... I'll eat... I'll take 200 calories. I'll eat 30. Yeah, but how much sugar? Tell me that. Way too many, way too much sugar. It's pure sugar. We might as well just be eating a clump of sugar. That's what I'm saying. Can't be doing that. Anyway, yo, beautiful monster, welcome <laughs> in. So, I forget what I was saying. Oh. Well, we were talking about gummies. And I was going to ask Clutch about the dispensaries in Jersey. All right. They're pretty good, man. The dispensaries, oh my God. Like, I don't like this one, but I got some like some chocolate over here. But it's okay. like a, like a high dosage, like I guess it's more like the indica type of shit where it's meant to like knock you out and shit. Ah, uh, fuck that. It's not for me. I like I it. Went this, I went to the I went to AYR. Like, you been to AYR in Woodbridge? No. It was the Garden State dispensary. Yeah, online. I saw they changed that. that. That's the new place now. Okay. Yeah, so they bought it. I went there like last week. They're calling they got a name. recreational. What's that? For informational? Yeah, yeah, for information, I'll pick some no, stuff. Oh, re recreational. recreational. Oh, recreational, yeah, yeah, recreational. I think it's an informational. Yeah, informational. informational. It's an informational. <laughs> yes, I went, there. I went there for some information. <laughs> A few other things. So, what did you get when you were there? I actually I just got some gummies. I haven't smoked in, like, I used to smoke all the time when I was a teenager, early 20s. Now, if I smoke, I just, like, fall asleep. <laughs> So I don't smoke here. So I just don't smoke. So I went and got some gummies and you eat a, go back. You, you and eat more. a hot gum. Are you are you stoned on a gummy right now? Yeah, I'm chill. I mean, I say I'm like this is what I, what I like about it is I don't get fucked up like I do if I was smoking. If I was smoking, I'd be like this. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
No, I get that. that. So what's nice about it is, uh, and also like was it, when I used to smoke, it was like I was out for the count. Like I was good for the rest of the day. Couldn't do shit. With these, it's like once it wears away, it's like I never had it. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't get any kind of hangover or anything, any kind of sleepiness really from pot. But that's just because I'm a seasoned veteran, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's really the only yeah, reason why. Yeah. I was gonna say the same thing too. Like, even with like a gummy, like, I don't feel shit off a gummy. I have to have like probably three or four for me to feel something, you know? Uh, okay. So, day one, I'm gonna do some work. <laughs> you guys excited so for anything? Like do shit, so. You get motivation from eating the gummies. Sometimes they can kick, kick, uh, like give you energy. I've heard that. It's a fever. Sativa. The sativa. Yeah. yeah. You have to make sure you always get sativa. That's that's basically what the, the Yo, energy's for. Thank you guys so much for those gifted subs, the resubs, the hype train. I love it. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. I think I'm so cracked at Fortnite. I'm, I'm oh yeah? Gummy. Is Smoke? it the gummies? Smoke. <laughs> Yo, it's, I'll be laser focused when I play. <laughs> Into cleaning, doing people things, yeah, I can get that. Can, it makes like things a little bit more interesting too, like overall. Yeah, I've been, I haven't really gone out much since I, this is only like a week, a week old thing. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly snipe when I'm high too. Oh my god! Oh, I'm telling you. Yo, so I'm probably gonna play in the customs tomorrow. But I'm gonna play on a Smurf so nobody knows who I am. I do not want to be targeted, okay? I'm not gonna stream it. I'm not doing none of that shit. I'm playing incognito. Just trying to have a good time. Hey, somebody, there's, somebody's gonna know who it is because nobody's gonna know who the name is. It's gonna be like, oh shit. Yo, mom, thank, thank you so much. I think we're having a contest so who could break the stream. 10 gifted subs, you're a legend. Let's go! No, but I mean. <laughs> Everyone's going for clutch. I'm just hoping it's still going on when I get home. Like, if your goal was to build an amazing family, you did that. Bez, oh, right, that's what we were talking about. We were talking about how everyone was telling me not to continue with the Discord. Yeah. That's what we were talking about. Not smoking helps tolerate the world and everything in it. Not smoking? You don't smoke? At all, ever? Mom, Oops. thank you so I much was... for the 10. You're either. incredible. Incredible. Um, my goal was to build a place that was not revolved around manipulating people to support the, the, the staff and, the, and me, right? So we wanted to be very honest that this place is not going to make you famous. Not yet, anyway. Hopefully one day, like... When we post something on our socials, it hits. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we have an... It, I've, I've been saying this from the beginning. The issue is, is that people can't see the long vision, right? They don't see how... Like, I gave myself five years when I really started Streamer's Paradise to say, hey, if we don't have, a, like, a, a, like, a solid idea and direction in five years, we got to move on to something else. We already have that. We did the hard part, and... And we've created something special. And there's so many people that love it. The thing is, is that there's a lot of people that don't stick around in order to love it. Right? They, they come in, they get affiliate, maybe they stop streaming, whatever the reason is. But they don't decide to stick around. There's a ton of people who don't stream anymore and still stick around and hang out. There's people who don't stream at all. Um, or stream very little and they still hang around. Those are the people that are going to help us take this place to the next level. We just have to continuously reach out and, and, and meet new people that want to help us get there. So that's where the YouTube and the TikTok and all those socials really come in handy. We want people to be able to be... We say it every Friday night. Those socials are supposed to be there to promote, promote the, uh, the community and the members in the community. So if the members in the community aren't liking it and commenting on it and helping push it out, if you're not sharing it, right? If you're not doing those things, it's harder for us to try and help everyone because that's what we're trying to do, create a place where people help elevate one another. It's always been the goal. And it's always been the goal to do that without, without, um, 
without uh, making people feel like they've got to pay or subscribe to people in order to, to get that kind of thing. So just your energy is, is important to us. That's why the VIP and the MVP, all that stuff has nothing to do with uh, donations or subs or whatever. We do it all based on time that you spend in, in the server. So those were my two things. I don't want people to feel like they got to spend money, right? I've been saying that from the beginning. That's the day one, yeah, that's, that's always I been the day one thing. I don't want people to feel pressure. It doesn't mean that I don't want people to subscribe to the server and buy merch, because that's what we're going to do. That's what we're, we need to do to take things to the next level as well, right? We need to get our subscribers up on the Discord to take the giveaway to another level. If we can get to 100 subscribers, the prize can be astronomically bigger, right? Like maybe double or three times what it is now. So we're talking three, $400 for a prize every month to someone. That's a massive prize. Like, what, what is three, four hundred dollars? A fucking a video card, um, a laptop. It's like a good microphone. Like, a good, you, like, yeah. Assuming, you could like probably, this, buy, like, good this kind of microphone. microphone. Yeah. A small Go XLR, a Switch, a Xbox. I mean, yeah. all those things. Like, I mean, uh, any kind of console, food, rent. Yeah. Well, we try and give a. We, we try. We try not. We don't actually give cash, though. We we give a gift. We give the. We give an item. So if you're subscribed and you win, right now, like the, it's like an Amazon gift card or something is on there for like a hundred bucks, but it's mostly, an office to stream in. <laughs> I mean. It, it, it's enough. It's enough to make a difference for somebody every month. I mean, it's we're making a difference now. I think for people, people are getting stream decks. People are getting games. People have gotten gaming chairs, uh, capture cards, uh, controllers. Has anybody has anybody taken like the non like streaming stuff? Like the I wanted that sign that light. Yeah. So light. so uh, Wallace got the lights, the hex lights or whatever it was. I'd like a horse. I mean, it, it might not be a real horse, but we can definitely get you a horse. We can put a horse on there. Sure. Sure, man. Maybe one of those, um, those uh, you know, quarter rider things, right? Oh, yeah. That could be about the same price. Like a little pony, old. yeah. I feel yeah. like you all are changing the game a lot. Changing the game, like, in what? In, in as far as orgs? Like, that's what the idea is, man. I don't... As far as it, when it comes to us as an organization, as a community, as you know, as a as a brand, we are trying to be better than the next group, and not in terms of like like what we offer, but just morally and everything too. We don't we don't um, we've never done anything for exposure, right? Like we're we're not trying to um, we're not trying to step on people and pull people from other communities. We let people naturally find us. Maybe that's help. Maybe that helps and keeps things slow. I'm not sure. I would love to know how to to uh, market our product to the masses, though. I just don't know how to do that. And I'd love to know how how to do that. Give me one second, guys. So if it's probably a few ways to do it. It's probably just expensive ways. Well, my idea is the social like, man. Please follow the YouTube. Yeah, subscribe. Well, so that's the best way because that's where gamers are at. It's just a matter of getting it to them. But YouTube is such They're a big platform, them. man, too. And it's like, like even my son, like he's watching it now, just seeing people that he watch, some basic people just doing some dumb TikToks or whatever, some kids, or and they have like three or four million views. You know, uh, I was thinking like, we could, you know, build that to that. Point right there, our, our our gaming content where we could post every day to get those million views. That would be awesome. That's the way to be able to put everybody on a different type of platform, you know? Uh, yeah, so that'd be ridiculous. That's what I'm trying to grind to. That's what we're trying to work together with, you know? Through Facebook, that's awesome. A lot of people use usually Facebook to network as well. I feel like, I feel like each uh, age group has its platform. Or like YouTube's, uh, not YouTube. Well, YouTube's got YouTube's versus YouTube Shorts is a different age. Facebook versus <clears throat> like Instagram versus TikTok. It's like I feel like it's generational. Oh, definitely, hundred percent. 
getting people noticed. I do often forget to share the YouTube shorts. Yeah, well, th I mean, that's one of the most important things that we're trying to push right now is people sharing and following, subscribing to the YouTube. Um, we pushed the TikTok for a while and we got to where we needed to be in order to um, go live and, and open up all the stuff that's there, right? Um, why not try broadcasting on a public access station? I definitely have thought about that. I swear we have. We have just started talking about, we're in the process of filming a commercial style video um, that explains what we do, um, the people from all over the place. It's, it's really cool. Shapa wrote a really cool script and you know the team picked at it a little bit, not much, to tighten it up and it, it's really great. Shapa's usually the guy that we, we have to tighten up the punctuation and shit. Pretty, yeah. pretty clever guy. For real. Social is the hardest too. I mean, and that's, it's not an overnight success. That's why we've been at it. It takes time, Probably especially because it. it's like you got to build like an actual following. Facebook is how I found out, told about the group. I was actually informed of this community through Facebook. So fa we have a really large um, Facebook group with like 35,000 members on it. I admin... I admin that group, so obviously Streamers Paradise is the most um, pushed community there, right? We know what we offer, we know what we do. It's Twitch for Beginners is the is the group, and um, we are from beginner all the way up to if you're pushing for partner. I mean, you can find a little bit of something for everybody in in this place, even if you're not a streamer, though. So that's the one thing I feel like where we fucked up is we kept Streamers Paradise in the name. And it kind of makes people think it's just streamers, right? And, and that's not the case. And I don't even know how to get to a point where we change the name at this point. You know what I'm saying? You can't. It's like, does it, do we just, do we do like the KFC thing and stop calling ourselves Kentucky Fried Chicken and just call ourselves KFC? Like, are we just SP now? Just SP. Not Streamers Paradise, just SP. I was going to say either that or like, you got to replace the words with SP. You have to definitely keep SP in it. You know, like it has to be SP regardless. Forever it has to be. It's too deep now. It's too deep. It was too deep on day one by accident. It was too deep fucking... Uh, bro, I was thinking about changing the name like three or four months in. And... I didn't do it. And that's... I mean, people kind of didn't like the idea of changing the name though. I think that everyone would have been okay with it if we did it that early. But it would have changed. It would have changed everything a lot. I think too. I don't know. I don't think it's good the way it's, people will know. Yeah, it feels game. like a place only for streamers. It shouldn't though, chaotic, because we have all kinds of we we offer so much. You don't have to stream to be here though. That's the thing, chaotic and Yoshi. If you guys don't stream, there still should be a bunch of uh, energy in the in the community that is good for you, right? Watching the different streams if you want. Uh, playing in, this, um, in the, uh, the, the community events, watching the pay-per-views or the movie nights that we have, and just being generally active in the community in Gen Jet. I mean, you got to feel welcome in that case, right? There's also, I mean, it's also a great place to find other people that play the games you play and are stream-friendly, right? Because they say that sometimes is the thing, like... I remember when I was streaming, like in the beginning, I was playing games with some people that would get uh, rowdy. <laughs> the server was like, they talk a lot of shit. Well, yeah, a that's lot of shit in the... chat. And it's like, I don't want these people on my stream. You know what I mean? So, like, even if you don't stream, it's like a good place to find people to game with that, you know, are usually, are hopefully going to be toxic. It's like super toxic and stuff. It, well, I mean, that's still there. So I get what you're saying. Like, the toxic energy is still... People get really crazy when they fucking... They get behind the mic on Call of Duty. Uh, they turn into the toughest motherfuckers ever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I don't know why it's like that. I never understood that. I never understood talking shit to antagonize someone. It's never registered in my fucking mind that, like, it, like it was a good thing. Well, that's awesome, Chaotic. I'm glad. Uh, that's dope. Get bent. Let's fucking go, man. Love to see that shit. 
We consider Streamers Paradise a community of communities. J like, no joke. There's all different co communities inside Streamers Paradise. It's from all over the place. You should hear my hubby when he plays games. Lucky he doesn't stream. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess the question is, how do you get on an open broadcast network, right? Like, how do you public access station? Like, how do you find a public access station? Is that like your uh, local not, news channel? Yeah, like, yeah, it beats me. Yeah, I wouldn't even... I know I work down the street from News 12. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I love it, man. That's a great thing. We need, we need people that will bring other people in. Because, like, you know, that's what we say. Yeah, it's like local, local, shortwave. Yeah, who watches that now, though? The, like, like, do like they... Old people. Old people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, 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 they're like... Sorry. Old, old people do on they, the fixed thing. Are they like, able... Paper, cable. Are they able to show analytics before you... Before, prisons. <laughs> Facts. You're not wrong. <laughs> they are totally watching reruns of Jerry Springer every day, and... And you are not the father. Every day. Every fucking day. Yo, dudes would get so hyped at the not the father shit. <laughs> Yo, people would get invested in that shit. <laughs> they really would. That's probably some good. <laughs> I told y'all. The mom's running off backstage. And they let people run or promote their own commercials on the radio for $150, but you have to wait a week for a review to see if it's deemed appropriate. So you think that potentially we could do that with our rate? Well, of course you could. That's what they do, right? That's what you do. But my issue is this. We would just do the website then, streamersparadise.com. If you are looking to get into content creation, see, that's the thing, right? That's the thing, and that's what I want to offer. I've been talking about this a long time. I want to offer, like, in local areas, right? Like, I want to be able to say, like, we'll come to your house or you can come to a like a neutral location and we can give you a breakdown or as maybe over Skype even it could be over over like a Zoom call you can give the, you can give these people breakdowns of what they need firsthand so that way they're not buying shit that either isn't going to work right it's not going to think about how long it, think about how long it takes you to really learn everything that you need to do Right? Think about how long it actually takes you. The, the, the knowledge that we give away for free is that of sound engineering, right? Marketing, social media um, uh, promotion, Twitch promotion. I do want to. I do want to say that none of this is financial advice. <laughs> we cannot be held liable. Wait, what are you talking about? What did I say? <laughs> No, I'm just saying, you know, this is financial advice. It's like just a general disclaimer. Hey, Hazy said I should buy this, and it didn't work, so I'm going to sue him. The background music always gets turned up when Hazy gets hyped. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we give people financial advice. Don't stream for your main income. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good one. That's thing. a fact, and, and, and if you are trying to do it, you better be fucking ready to deal with some serious shit. Like, like people think that they can just come into streaming without a single fucking not a day on twitch and they're like i'm gonna make fucking eight hundred dollars this month and i'm gonna have this person right people really think that and i don't know i don't know why people think that i don't know if i was that bad at all but i definitely thought it was gonna be easy i thought that i thought it was gonna be easy at first for sure well sounds easy <laughs> I feel like a lot of people, when they enter streaming too, they, they focus on the wrong aspects of their stream. Like nobody, I feel like nobody focuses on audio first. And I feel like audio is probably more important than the video. Because the video is, it's, it's a lot hard to do. Audio is, is a little harder to do and a little more like fine tuning. It's a lot easier when you sit in the cube. What is that? E I'm, I'm missing what you're saying, Big Doc. I'm sure it's hilarious. But I'm fucking. I'm missing what you're saying. It sounds easy, right, Carnage? Like when you when you hear about it, like, oh wait, this guy is streaming, playing video games, and people are watching him, and they're like subscribing to him, and he's gonna be doing it whether it's, you know, free or not. Like he's gonna be doing that, but people are giving him him money to do it. 
and they're giving him like millions of dollars actually like and and these people know he's rich and they still give him like you know what i'm saying like fucking my background was always the cube i was literally just my ceiling in a wall meeting oh right 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 especially when it looks like peeps are throwing money yeah dude well, people, people were throwing money <laughs> yeah for sure <laughs> Nick Merce, you go in there. He's got a fucking, he's got crazy shit happening in there. If you, if you, who have I been watching a little bit recently? He's getting crazy subs. Fousey, you know Fousey from uh, YouTube, FouseyTube? Oh, I heard of him. Yeah, yeah I don't he, know why, so. he's streaming uh, on Twitch now. He's like a IRL streamer, and he just streams twenty four seven. Like the dude literally he's takes a hours. shower in his bathing suit. And like shows him taking a shower, showers in his bathing suit. It's it's just kind of bizarre that he like allows these people into his life twenty four seven like that. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Because you, I don't. I, that's got to be exhausting, man. It's got to be exhausting. Because you know you got to be on all the time. Does, does he like sleep on stream? Sleeps too? on stream. Text to speech. Five dollar donation. Um. And he goes and does all kinds of shit. Like, he'll be in an airport, and he's got text-to-speech on. And someone's like, this fucking guy's got a bomb, right? Like, and then he he, he runs out. Like, it's, it's great content. It really is. But, like, I don't think that I could ever allow that kind of energy to, to like, for, for yeah. the attention. You know what I mean? Because people are literally there just to troll him, you know? Like, just to troll him. And obviously, that's a good thing if you're just trying to pull in money and, and comments, right? I think Blueface said it best recently. He said, he said, I'll take 10,000 hate comments over a thousand love comments. And that's, I mean, like, I get what, I get why. That shit generates traction on your stuff. And that's what they say. Yeah. Hate, hate, hate sells, hate fuels. Yeah, that's all you want streaming to be is fun, really, at the end of the day. If it's not fun, then why are you doing it? If he showers in a bathing suit, I guarantee that dude is emitting an unholy ball smell. It's not sanitary. Maybe. Some psychologists are analyzing his behavior from a virtual distance. Who, Fousey's? I heard he had a breakdown a couple of years ago. He had ago. a bunch of breakdowns. Broke, right? Yeah. yeah. No, I, bro, I you're never off. broke when you have a fucking... No, I don't believe it for a second. <laughs> 15 million fucking people following him on on, on uh, YouTube, Instagram, God knows how many. He's He's got millions of followers, bro. No, no, he's not broke. He's got a lifestyle problem. Yeah, that's what it is. It probably went up and down. And I said, this was a while back, and then I, I seen him popped up in, in, in the boxing fight. I thought he was going to win that last one. Well, I don't know if it was the last one, but he got messed up in that one talking shit. Hazy, I feel like you fall into the throwing money category. I don't know. I don't know what you mean. If you don't mind my par my phrasing, I'm saying I'm saying that I've never seen anything. I've been very blessed to to have some incredible, incredibly generous people um, supporting me over the years uh, streaming. What I'm talking about is something like I've never seen. Uh, One thousand gifted subs in in. Um, in one sitting, you know what I mean? Like just one stream, yeah. uh, not even one stream, like one sitting, like one hype train. You know what I mean? One Thank you. wild, wild amounts of, um, uh, uh, yeah, wild amounts. So this, this dude, Fousey, he's got like 27,000 subscribers right now. And this one guy in there is like vivid or something like, <laughs> yo, big duck. I appreciate you, homie. Yeah, no, I've seen some of like the, the Nick Merck streams. It's like, what the holy hell? No, dude, it's insane. It's insane. It's they make crazy. millions and millions of dollars. So that's what I'm saying. I don't believe it for a second that Fousey's broke. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. You got like 15 million subs on YouTube. I don't. I don't see where you're having financial issues. What do you mean, big dog? Taking straight out of my supply money. 
steroid supply money. Doc, are you what, what, what are you what are you popping right now, bro? What what is it? What is it? Uh, trend, test? Bro, What's trend? The, trend? <laughs> right, trend. What are you on trend? trend. <laughs> That's the Liver King shit, right? He's riding the trend train right now. Riding that the trend train? Change. I've never, I don't, I've never done any steroids, but I actually looked into it, and Ben is when they say, well, like, I think it's like some craziest dreams or some shit. It's like a wild thing. This could also be like 10-year-old information, and, and trend's not even a thing anymore. TRT for medical reasons, and that's it? I don't even know what that is. Yo, Ro Ro, what up, man? Hey, to me. Some, some testosterone therapy, maybe? Testosterone replacement maybe. Therapy. therapy. Is that what that is? <laughs> so you know I have that brain tumor. What? I did not know. I didn't think I... I don't think I knew that. Holy shit, Doc. I don't think I fucking knew that. That's crazy shit. That is crazy. Um, I know I definitely didn't know that. But today is the day of distractions. So like my kid come in, my other kid come in. He's, he's spilling shit. What's he doing? Picking his nose. <laughs> oh, he's just sweating. Ah, it's all good, yeah, is man. It, is it hot up there today? No, nah, I just got a hoodie on. Oh. Behind it's, the green screen. And it's like 90 degrees out. Okay. It is hot, though, for real. Well, I'm trapped in, like, this, like, cubicle because of the green screen. So, basically... That's what I'm saying. The green screen is going to keep it warm in there. Right. So, I have the air conditioner on, and it's super cold. You know what I mean? So, it's like, I got to I gotta balance it out in the... <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like hot in that little spare, square, but you can take a step out real quick. <laughs> it's some cool lighting. It's fun. That's a funny stuff. Got all these drinks over here. Yeah, it's hard to hear, Doc. At least that, you know. Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't even know that. I'm glad you're back on it. Like, that, you saying, okay, yeah, there you go. Nice, nice, man. So it takes. Sometimes it gives you that's crazy. Sick, you know, life, you know. Nothing they could, nothing, nothing to do about it. They just said, "This is it. Come get scanned every so often." Because that's that's wild. I don't know if that's the. Oh, it's cold downstairs. What's it called? The verdict. Same in my department too. I mean, in my place, the central air more work, works more in the living room and like dining room area, but in the room it'd be fucking hot as fuck. I hate it. So how often that. do you have to go back? Talk, sorry, I'm like very, uh, very intrigued. Yeah, dude, it, it, my house be getting pretty chill, but it stays too goddamn hot in here. No, the last I have a hot, bro. fucking ridiculous. Yeah, no, it's been too much, but I have like one air vent in, but no return duct, so it doesn't pull any of the hot air out. So my office, once once you do another game, it gets it gets too fucking hot in here. Office to once a week, it's like borderline built chemo. Got you. That's that's just crazy. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Sorry to hear. Keep getting better, bro. I had to take it off. It was fucking hot. I'm sweating and shit. Like, like, yeah, I was just. <laughs> I couldn't fucking handle it. Yeah, then you walk out there and you get the chills. Yeah, so that's the problem. It goes like. It goes hot, cold, like dramatically, right? <laughs> you can't find that medium. That's the medium. We're looking for the medium. The, uh, the green screen is is the medium. What's how hot is it outside? Actually, let me look. Fucking, I don't even know. It's probably fucking eighty-three degrees. Green. Yeah, it's on my computer side. It's nine forty. Eighty-three degrees with eighty-three people in the stream. Let's go. 
Let's go. It's a sign. Buy a lottery ticket. Buy a lottery ticket. 8383. I'm fine. Honestly, the diagnosis was in 2018, and now I'm probably in the best shape of my life as far as strength goes. Well, whatever it is, they've clearly got it under control. Is that what's going on? Like, they... Yeah, we were, we were asking, like, what the, I mean, it takes a pill, right? I take this awful pill once it's a week. A it's like borderline pill chemo. Gotcha. And then he's got the TRT for the rest of his life. Once a week injections, lab work every six months. That's got to be fucking scary, though, finding that shit out. Yeah. Fucking hell. Bro. 116 what? Degrees? Okay. Yeah, fuck that. Jeez. Where are you? Hell. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you Arizona. And if not, it's pretty goddamn close. It's the only place I know. Nah, it's got to be farther or something than that. Nevada. Fucking. I say, gotta be easy. 116 is like the bottom of Mexico. Fuck that, dude. This, whoever that is is too fucking hot. Sounds like it's right on the equator. It, oh, Vegas. Wow. It's 107 degrees. I said Nevada after. See, that was, that was close. Man, <laughs> fuck that. 102? Gosh. Yo, yeah, so that's the thing about New York. The humidity makes it the worst. Oh my god. Yeah. The humidity is, is you, you by might, far the worst. You might have said something, but I don't think that I don't think that you said it in the sense of like I don't know. I don't I don't know. I feel like I would have remembered this. Yeah, I would remember that too. <sighs> the the humidity is like a hundred percent here. It makes it feel a lot more worse than what it could do. Oh my god, I hate it. So I wanted to talk a little bit about wrestling and like the state of wrestling because I fucking love I love I'm loving wrestling right now. It's just on fire. Right now? Yeah. Uh this 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 regime is just out of control. You didn't derail it, we just talk about shit, man. Talk we talking shit. Well, this is yeah. just, you know, we derail this thing ourselves. We're good. We do this all the yeah. time. All the time. We love interacting, too, with the people. In here, you know? Yeah, I mean, none of this stuff, like, other, like, what was it? What was it? The only the first couple that we, like, tried to plan out, right? Mm -hmm. Then we realized that that wasn't, wasn't going so good. So we just hop on and shoot the shit, really. Yep. Pretty much. We have no specific agendas exactly. ever at this point. Oh, well, no, what up, Scrabble? Oh, look at Scrubba. Oh, Scrubba? Yo, Jim, yeah, thank part you. Of wrestling, bro. It's part of wrestling. Are they eat? Oh, Bo uh, disappeared. Jitter, uh -oh. thank you for the 50 biddies. Jitter, also, thank you for becoming a subscriber to uh, the first. Discord. I appreciate that. Which wrestling? You like WWE right now? AEW or... Where is his, um, you sent it to me? Is that me that's crashing? <laughs> what it's not the me. Fuck just happened? No, I'm back, I'm back. Yeah, it's not me. Ha! <laughs> that is me. <laughs> that's me. Yeah. This I feel like I'm, I'm getting lost myself. <laughs> I sent him a oh, video. Uh, he might. I gotta have to get stop the camera, start the camera. Yeah, I guess so. I was just gonna hold the link to be honest. Yeah, I gotta get this hold up. Which wrestling? Are you, WWE right now? You into or? So, I like the <laughs> WWE I, obviously because what else is there? Really? Like the AEW people like New Japan. Yeah, so and... I'm not really watching AEW because AEW doesn't have the app, right? So. Peacock has the WWE catalog. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. Right? Not so, true. basically, what I did... <clears throat> Johnny Caboose gave me his sign-in so I could watch Money in the Bank. Because I wanted to see who was going to win Money in the Bank 
And then I wanted to see the other match. I can't remember who it was. Um, Finn and Seth. Uh, right? Uh, Finn Balor. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. That was a good match right there. Bo's internet went out. Gotcha. Yep. Well, join the call on your phone and finish Damn. it out. So anyway, <clears throat> Finn Balor and um, and Seth Rollins. So once I watched that, I don't know. There's something about it with like I really like Dominic Mysterio. I know that he's a heel and he's literally the most hated heel anyone has ever seen. Yeah. I know that he's a heel that he's. Literally- oh wow, that's bad. <laughs> I think I just came back online. Oh, yeah, you're back. So, so because, and also that's what got me into it initially was the fact that Dominic Mysterio was a wrestler, and the last time I saw him, he was a little kid, and I was just like, holy shit, it's been, you know, 15 years or something, and now he's a grown-ass man, and he's wrestling. The thing that's crazy, though, is he didn't pay dues, right? Like, he didn't go through... He didn't go through what normal wrestlers go through where they they wrestled these small promotions on their way up to being noticed. Obviously, when your father's Rey Mysterio and you've been growing up in the fucking WWE space and you, you got a different kind of... Just like the Usos. Those are Rikishi's sons, right? Exactly. And all, yep, the, yep. all of the Samoan, um, you know, all the, the, the tribal... Rock. The Rock what? Well, The Rock is related to them his in dad. some way, but... No, his dad. It was his dad used to... Uh, right, but his... His but dad and his uncle? His dad, yes, his dad was Rocky Johnson. But he he did put in his dues, though, The Rock. Like, if you... Oh, yeah. The Rock didn't... The Rock didn't have it as easy. Because you got to remember, that was before the WWF was really a thing. That's when Rocky Johnson was around. He was around it before Hulk Hogan you know, became the champion in Madison Square Garden versus um, what the hell was that guy's name? Damn, I can't think of it right now. Anyway, um, to, to keep going with this. So basically, this is what happened. I saw it. I've got, I get totally taken back um, by this wrestling. And, and obviously, it's totally fake, right? It's totally staged. You can tell. It's a, it's a soap opera, um, essentially a soap opera with fighting and violence. Right in your adult years, you understand this. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I love it, right? I fucking love it. So basically, this is what I do. I want to go back in time. I want to see what I remember. I want to, I want to remember all those old things and like watch, watch the wrestling that I remember as a kid. And I can watch it in order the way that I watched it week to week when I was young. So that's crazy to me. So you want to know what I didn't remember? I didn't remember when... Hulk Hogan turned heel. Like, I remember I remember that he did it, but my memory of Hulk Hogan was he was in the WWF as the champion, and then he was gone, right? And then all of a sudden, he shows up on WCW, and he's a heel. That's my, rem- that's my memory of him. So, so he turned heel in 96. I was fucking nine years old. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't... I wasn't a, a fucking teenager. I didn't, I, you know, I was nine. Yeah. So I don't really remember how it all happened, the way that they played it all out that good. It was, it's very spotty for me. So I decided to go back and take a look. So I'm watching it in order, man. I'm watching WCW. I'm not watching WWE. I'm watching WCW right now. And then I'm watching the new stuff of WWE, like, week to week. I'm fast-forwarding through everything, basically, and just watching the matches that I'm interested in. Um, so, yeah, that's basically, that's basically what I'm, I'm doing is watching the old WCW and I'm watching the Nitros. I'm watching the WCW Saturday night and then the pay-per-view, whatever pay-per-view follows up to it. And right now I'm in 1995 and I just got through... Summer, was it Bash at the Beach? Yeah, I think I just got through the 1995 Bash at the Beach. And fucking Dennis Rodman was there before he turned heel, which I did not know. I didn't know that Dennis Rodman was hanging out with Hulk Hogan before he turned heel. 
because I only remember him as a heel with Hulk Hogan and Karl Malone and all those other basketball players. Anyway, it's just cool to see it all go in order, right? Like I, like uh, Ric Flair was I the champion. Don't even think I watched it back then. Was, Wait, you were nine in month. 1996. You just made me feel old. What? I'm the old guy around here. <laughs> It's funny. I definitely didn't watch it back then. I don't think it made me super young too. I I didn't start watching it till uh, I'm 36. I was like 12 or 13, something like that. I'm 36. I started, I started watching it with like Stone Cold and The Rock and right. Mankind. So that's 97, that's 96, 98, 99. That's okay. all those years. Yeah, I think I started like around 99. So. But maybe I okay, so then maybe I just I didn't really care for WCW. I watched like WWF. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that. So early. maybe that's why. So the Macho Man and Hulk Hogan did something um in the WWF where they teamed up. And then they did it in the WCW as well. In the NWO and before that. NWO. <laughs> so right now Sting, Lex Luger. Um, Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, these are the four guys that are like the good guys of the WCW right now, in, in what I'm watching. And they do have a different style back then. They were way better, way, way better. Oh, yeah. My gosh. The other day I was going to TikTok and I follow like a lot of wrestling things. I get to watch old clips and new clips. A new <laughs> clip a couple years ago when the WrestleMania, when NWO actually came out and fought alongside with Sting against DX and Triple H. It was, such was a, that WrestleMania? Oh, that WrestleMania. Yeah, it was that... such a monumental moment, but imagine it in its prime. You feel me? Like what it was in those years. Oh my God, it would have been insane. So Sting never... He never fucking. He never worked at uh, WWE except for that one. That one thing, right? He, he never went. For, he went for like a couple years, but he was. I think he had a contract, but then he got injured, and then he never. But he only did one appearance, right? That was a WrestleMania appearance. No, he did WrestleMania, and he was also about to fight Seth Rollins for the championship belt. That that was another appearance he did. When That's why that? I thought he was going to take off. It was probably after the WrestleMania, to be honest. I think Sting came in when he fought Triple H. And then, yeah, they were I definitely running. remember him I, from WWF. Who? Sting. I, I remember him doing No way. There's no <laughs> fucking way that you... If no, you, definitely not that. If you watched... If you didn't watch wrestling that much, you and you think you know Sting from the WWF, you're crazy. I definitely... I like I, literally nuts. Never? No, well, no never way, bro. No he got way. a 30 when... He, he, he literally was in the AWA, which then turned into the WCW. And he was with the WCW up right up until they, they cashed out in 2001 or whatever. And then he went to Impact. He didn't go to WWF. Oh, yeah, I remember he was in Impact too. Shit, I forgot about that. Yeah, he went to Impact for years. He, he's at AEW right now, so. <laughs> like, he's a, he doing up. hardcore matches, jumping off ladders and fucking himself up at he's 64. Beef, he's beefing with Chris Jericho right now. It's kind of awesome to see. <laughs> Chris Jericho's 50 years old, too, so that's the other thing, right? Yeah, I was still fucking fighting. Jeez. Bro, yeah, I was literally, I'm literally watching Chris Jericho become the youngest cruiserweight champion on WCW. Or no, yeah. And then Alex Wright beats him and takes it at 22 and becomes the youngest. But, dude. I forgot. All of these fucking people that were in WWF, they bounced back and forth between WCW and WWF. Eddie Guerrero, Chris Benoit. Chris Benoit literally just showed up outside of WCW Nitro and was like, this is where the big boys play, huh? And walked in. Chris Benoit <laughs> when he was a freaking little kid. Uh, you know, the one who killed his family. Yeah. And uh, I thought they scrubbed him out, to be honest. I thought they scrubbed him out of fucking... Yeah, I don't know. I thought they scrubbed him out. 
I'm surprised it didn't, but it's like kind of how, you know, because like he's like in a lot of storylines. His son made an appearance at AEW event. Right. Who? Oh, yeah, no, uh, D- David Benoit. Yeah. That's, well, that's because they don't ignore him in AEW, right? Exactly. And they also talk about Owen Hart in AEW all the time, too. He's even in the game. How do they do that? How do they get the likeness rights? Like, I mean, they're not. I don't think they're PG. I think they they WWE. Well, I think WWE's like, not PG anymore. But yeah, it's probably out that era now at this point. No, CM like Punk was CM Punk was the fucking the PG era. John Cena was the PG era. Whatever era we're in now is like <laughs> AEW has literally changed the game. But they just came out with a new list of things they're not allowed to do anymore, which is gonna bring them down quite a bit. Did you see that? Uh, I didn't see that. I've, I've been up to it as a late. To it be was honest. like shit, uh, head shots, uh, chair shots, um, blood, like oh, diff- different things that that you're not allowed to have anymore, um, based on the new rules. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. That's why I like the body. No they give me ECW vibes. Remember ECW, y'all? Yeah? I do. And oh, that's the God. other thing. If you got Peacock, all the old ECWs are on there, bro. It's oh, all on there. I want to say, where are you ECW watching this? You're watching this, these on Peacock? Yeah, it's on Peacock. Every single thing that the WWE owns is there. So that's what I'm saying. AEW's not there. Where can I watch old AEW episodes if I miss them? Are they on YouTube in full? Does AEW uh, have a YouTube channel? No. I mean, I... I yeah, I, honestly, I watch all my things on the site. So, like, what I, site? I don't know if they have old, old episodes. Like, even all the pay per views and whatnot. I'll send it to you. Yeah, they have a, they have a website. They have a, they have a, yeah. But it shows like live events too. They have I, a I YouTube. They have a YouTube. YouTube. I'm gonna subscribe to it. I'm gonna start paying attention. I don't like CM Punk. I don't like him at all. When are the MVP this week being called? Uh, MVPs once a month. The VIPs were called. Well, let's hope I don't fucking crash, because... It's time to go. It's time to go yeah, anyway. anyway so you're... <laughs> We're good. All right, so I'm going to end I'm up... Crashed. I'm going to... I remember Cable in the preview channel. Yeah, so <laughs> the VIPs for the week were... You had votes this week, by the way. You had a lot of votes. It was very close. Uh, Sour Diesel and... Who DJ was it? Up. DJ Under. DJ Under, right. They got VIPs. MVPs also a whole different one. This MVPs is the Discord one. Yeah. We also have an SPMVB channel in the Discord. You can see it for yourself. All right. <laughs> so, so let's call it. Let's call it. Let's wrap it up, guys. Thanks for showing up, everybody. I appreciate all the support. I fucking love you guys. Thank you so much, Mom, City, all the resubs. I appreciate you all. Have a good one, guys. That's fine.